Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing the Pisces Ascendant. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. People with Pisces rising have a dreamy inward drift to their being. They begin life as an innocent romantic dreamer living in a fairy tale world. And when very young, they found it impossible to distinguish the real from the imagined or dream world. These people took a long time in becoming aware of the boundaries between the inner and outer worlds and used their inner world as a safe, beautiful, secluded retreat from difficult realities of their outer lives. These people are emotionally open and sensitive, and they can feel other people's feelings as powerful as they feel their own. When positively expressed, the Pisces rising person has a deep compassion for the suffering of others, and they want to help heal them. When negatively, negatively expressed, these people are vulnerable to others' attitudes, particularly to criticisms and anxious to avoid being pinned down. To protect themselves, they act out the roles that others seem to want of them, building a camouflage to hide behind, using their subtle impression ability to take on their local colors, so to speak, kind of like a chameleon changing colors to blend in with their environment. These people can be incredible actors or actresses since they pick up tiny hints from others and react with delicately pitched responses that are geared to receive a positive response from others. Pisces rising people notice how situations, relationships, and things decay and dissolve. At the best, this helps them live their life with love and without clinging, giving them the wisdom of knowing that all things must end and dissolve back into the universe. At worst, they fear loss to the point of being paranoid and then hide their fears and avoid anything that arouses them. They build a cocoon for themselves, an inner sanctuary that covers all their fears over. They will also try to fog their fears out via alcohol and drugs, or any other smoke screen, including living in their daydreams, creating unreality in order to avoid the ugly realities of life. As a result of this trait, they may be vague, dithering, and indecisive, and thus need to relate to a complementary type of character who is precise, practical, and perfectionistic in nature. But the Pisces rising person soon realizes that such people are also usually critical, and say they, so they could develop a martyr or doormat persona. persona. These people will then bemoan the sadnesses and delay decay of the beautiful in the world, especially where it affects them, finding martyrdom an easier role to play. Pisces rising people's early tendencies to imagine themselves as the hero or heroine of any tale gives them a rich dramatic inner theater and an often unconscious tendency to play out many of these imaginative roles in later life not even realizing that they're doing it. The most satisfying of these roles are often those with much drama or with pathos and deep hurts, noble suffering, and they are still roles being played out and not the truth. Pisces rising people may be naturally mystic with the ability to lower their separateness and their personal boundaries and to blend with natural surroundings feeling with great depth all the life that is around them. Incredibly beautiful and peaceful moments are likely to come in such circumstances where they can avoid the confusing complications of the usual human relationships. These people can be loners, a monastic type of individual that prefers to contemplate the universe rather than entering into all of its hurly-burliness. The Pisces rising sign person's great desire be to be of service to others can make them hospitable to the point of self-sacrifice. The best outlet for these people is in hospital or charity work. Otherwise, their, their aesthetic sensitivity could lead them into fine arts, particularly music, painting and theater, photography and films, or the fashion industry. 
Pisces rising people are among the most affectionate, sympathetic, and trusting of peoples. They are also among the most modest and timid. These people are kind and loving, easygoing, good-natured, and charitable. They are very quick to understand, and they have a strong and profound psychic facility that they rely on to an immense degree. They just know things most of the time without having to say or know what they know. They are skilled in details, especially in putting the finishing touches to things, and paradoxically, though very orderly in manner, they are changeful in disposition, so they live a rather disjointed existence, leaving many things unfinished that were begun so well. Pisces rising people are very impressionable, emotional, and imaginative. The intensity of their idealism can be quite painful to them at times, especially when they tune into others' sufferings and sorrows. They have a highly developed intuitive and inspirational, inspirational facility and are often te telepathic and mediumistic. Pisces rising people are courteous, confident, affable, and hospitable. They don't like to push themselves forward. They lack confidence and self-esteem. At times they can become over-anxious, indecisive, and disheartened. But in an emergency, their uncertainty seems to fall away, re revealing a resolute, determined, and very effective person. Pisces rising people are extremely creative if they can discover the correct medium for their self-expression. They love music, good literature, and all that is intrinsically beautiful. Their tastes are refined and at times impeccably subtle. They often write exquisite poetry, and their daydreams are very real to them, and are an important part of their psychic processes. These people are usually not very body conscious and can compensate for this by directing their vital energies into physical accomplishments, by becoming an excellent dancer, gymnast or teacher, or yoga or other disciplined postures and exercises. Although the Pisces rising person often gives the impression of flexibility, they can be surprisingly stubborn. They have a gift for dissolving their attitudes so that they remain receptive and open-minded most of the time. But once they get stuck on an idea, they will not relinquish it without a great deal of obstinate maneuvering. They are much more a feeling creature than a thinking one when all is said and done and they are continually picking up psychic sensations from their environment, which they act on by conceptualizing them. Pisces rising people want their home and family relationships to be ideal. They look for storybook perfection, and when they don't find it, they're hurt, disappointed, or disillusioned. They never really comprehend why things aren't as they imagine them. Pisces rising people do enjoy parties at home, but are not really attracted by noise or boisterous amusements in public places. The more intimate types of recreation pleasures appeal more to their natures and they are happy visiting others in their homes. Pisces rising people are not easy people to live with, no matter what their outward pliant natures might suggest. These people are intensely critical of their partners as well as of themselves. They have a tendency to project their inadequacies onto their mates and then paradoxically looking to them to provide the reassurances and confidence they can't find in themselves. These people need to live with a reliable, methodical and efficient person who will serve them conscientiously. Being a sentimentalist at heart, they will work hard in their own way to make their marriage conform to their dreams. But unless they choose the right mate, the psychological pressures may be too great for the union to stand. As much as they love the idea of romance, they may marry for security or even because they think it is the right thing to do. Many Pisces rising people find that they are sometimes happier and attain a greater level of sufficiency by remaining single. Pisces rising people have the power to reach extraordinary heights of spirituality. Unfortunately, their dreams and illusions stand in the way of doing this. They have a fundamental longing to tear aside the veil, but this can only be done by coming to terms with their own past. For this reason, they are tolerant of formal religious paths and logical methods. They have faith only in direct experience of the divine themselves. 
It is not usual for them to embrace the emotional side of orthodox religions, but the path always leads back to them. They are a spiritual pragmatist who relies on attunement with psychic and spiritual forces for an eventual enlightenment. What others may achieve by drugs, they can achieve naturally. They are a spiritual mainliner who should understand that the induced experience, however vividly described, fail falls far short of their constant, hurt their constant intuitions. They really love long voyages with worldly, both worldly and hallucinatory. Despite their sometimes vague otherworldliness, the Pisces rising person has a practical and scientific approach to occult studies. It is as though this is their world, and it is that they all have the confidence and authority they may lack in what others call the real world. They are often a leading light in research into spiritualism, parapsychology, and extrasensory perception, but they seldom achieve public admiration or recognition for their efforts. More likely, they will devote years to a study only to have their findings annexed by another person or distorted for popular consumption. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!